Hey guys! <laughs> so, I just recorded my video, this video that I'm about to make, and my boyfriend was watching and he said that I sounded monotone and boring, and that I sound monotone and boring in all my other videos, because I just told him that I started doing YouTube videos, so I guess he's been watching them. So I'm going to do my little update slash product review again. So anyway, first um, I got some new products that I want to try out and um, I just wanted to do an update about the products and I've also been using some different shampoo and conditioner. So um, first I'll talk about my new shampoo and conditioner and I've actually used this product before when I worked at Ulta. Um, when it first came out, everyone was really excited about it because it was um, an inexpensive, organic product line that was really effective. So it's the Giovanni line, and it's the Smoothest Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo. Um, it is, um, I think, seven, seven, six or seven dollars from Target, um, and it contains zero sulfates, which is great. And I've also been using the Smoothest Silk uh, Deeper Moisture Conditioner. Um, and normally when I use shampoo and conditioners, I don't like them as a line. I usually mix and match. I'll use a different brand shampoo than I do conditioner because I feel like it's more effective that way. But I think that this product line is um, really effective. And I love that it's organic because um, that makes a huge difference to the quality of your hair and considering that I'm trying to grow my hair out as long as possible using organic products as opposed to products that contain proteins and um, silicones and sulfates. Um, sorry. Um, I think it's a lot better. And since I'm trying to stop using my Pantene Pro B Relaxed Natural because it also contains um, parabens um, and sulfates, um, which is really damaging to your hair. And I had been using the Wynn Cleansing Conditioner, which is really like a conditioner that cleanses the hair a little bit. Um, I'd gotten a, a message from one of my subscribers and she had said that since I use mixed chicks, for those of you that don't know, I use mixed chicks. Um, she said that it contains proteins, which I knew, and it also contains silicone, which I knew, and soy, which although in small doses are all great for your hair in the long run, when it builds up on your hair, it can cause your hair to break off, so that's not so good. Um, so those are the new shampoo and conditioner lines that I've been using um, the past week or two. Um, so um, I picked up some new products from a store um, in Berkeley called Beauty Center. Uh, real creative with name. <laughs> um, and I've been really eager to try this product line, which is the Kinky Curly product line. So today I picked up the Kinky Curly Not Today, which is a um, natural leave-in slash detangler, and it recommends to use it for um, as a using conditioner for thick coarse textures and for loose wavy curls to use as a rinse out conditioner, which I was kind of surprised about. But it has an amazing scent to it, and um, I know a few other people. A few other people have been using the product. Um, so I'm interested to try um, and see how it works out for my hair. And I've also purchased the original curling custard from Kinky Curly. And the curling custard recommends that you, um, to achieve ultimate curl definition and length, uh, not today, which is the leave-in conditioner, can be used underneath the curling custard. So. Um, I plan on trying each one of these new products um, alone and then trying it together um, for a good while, probably a week or so, before I can come up with a really good um, opinion on the product. So um, I'm going to use the Kinky Curly products first because I'm most excited about trying those. And I also purchased the Curls. 
quenched curls moisturizer um, I use the mixed chicks and as a you know a reviver for my second day hair um, I use the mixed chicks in a water bottle and just would spray my hair all over not just sections I do most of the head because I put my hair up in a ponytail at night and underneath and the top of it is all stretched out because my curls straighten out pretty quickly um, so I have to re-wet it a good portion probably about 50 percent but I don't want to have to co-wash it because it dries a lot faster the second day and I actually like how the second day curls look more but I just feel like I'm using a lot of product and again, packing on all the proteins and silicones from the mixed chicks is probably not the best idea. Um, so, just to try the Quenched Curls moisturizer um, to see how it works second day. And this is also an organic um, hair care line. So, um, it says that's what it works great for. So, that's what I'm going to try it um, for. And the third product that I got or the fourth product that I got, is the Diva Curl Angel Gel. Um, and like I had said in my previous video when I did my Diva Cut update, um, was that I had used the this gel before, about two years ago when I worked at Ulta again, um, but I wasn't wearing my hair natural, so it was more kind of if I had my hair in a ponytail for it to look okay curly or just as a gel to smooth my hair back into a ponytail or something like that. Um, so I kind of want to give it another shot since I am wearing my hair natural and kind of follow its regimen. Um, and this also contains um, no sulfates and no parabens. So um, I'm all on this organic hairline kick. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to try this again and see how it works out. And what's great about the store that I bought it from is that I can return the Quinch Curls and the Diva Curls um, within 30 days. So after a week, if I don't like them, they're rolling back. And the they actually, I guess, Kinky Curly doesn't have quite a good return policy, and I can't return the Kinky Curly for any returns or exchanges, but I think I'm going to like the Not Today, and if I don't like the Curling Custard, then it's okay. So, I probably will try the Quench Curls first, since I just washed my hair today. I'll use that for the rest of the week as my reviver and see how I like it, and if I don't like it, it's going back. And then next, I'll probably do the Diva Curl, so this will probably be my next product review is the Diva Curl. So I can take it back if I don't like it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I also wanted to say that I um, have been using the Ojan Restorative Hair Treatment as my deep moisturizer, which I do about once every two weeks overnight. Um, but I actually did a pre poo this morning with my extra virgin olive oil. And it came out just as good if not better than the uh, Ojan restorative hair treatment so um, I saved myself sixty dollars because that jug of Ojan restorative hair treatment is not cheap um, I'll use extra virgin olive oil um, as a pre-poo probably once a week um, I really like how my curls came out um, I use my uh, mixed chicks of course and I did it this morning and I didn't use any olive oil or anything I just did my mixed chicks with um, my Eco Styler on top, and I did use my Cantu Shea Butter underneath, just a little bit though. I, I use like not even, like a dime's worth for my whole head, which is like nothing, but I feel like it makes a difference because it makes it just drying. So I'm excited to try my new products, and I'm excited to come back and do another product review, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching.